Hey guys, and welcome to a bit of an amputated preview, um, because it's not the full preview of the Series 24 spring, but it's as close as I could get. Uh, and yeah, from various sources, I've been able to dig up what I think is what we're going to do next week. If not, do not shoot me. Um, but I can start by telling you that I have no idea what's happening in Rattle Land or, or in, um, in La La Land. So, skip. You got the Eliminator. whoop de doo da Uh, photo challenge. Take a photo of any Pagani at the Horizon Festival of Mexico. That should be relatively easy. Oops. And then we got the Treasure Hunt. A lucky find. Well, the clue is... Discover the four-leaf clover on the highway with a car sporting a badge of the same design. Now, the four-leaf clover on the highway is obviously this. Um, in a car with a badge of the same design. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, my God! That's an Alfa Romeo, and that's not a four-leaf clover. And I agree. It isn't. But then I remembered... There you go. So, yeah. Alfa Romeo Giulia is what I'm going to be using here at the Quattrofoglio. Uh, and, uh, yeah, paint share coat? No. Mm -hmm. and then you got the Horizon Tour, and you got the Weekly Fossathon, which is also this car. <clears throat> Where. Well, what would you think? I mean, it's a super saloon, Italian super saloon, uh, beautiful car. So what would you think you would going to do in this? Road racing? Yeah, that's where I would go. Yeah. Street racing? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no. No. Uh, because what you get to do is... <laughs> <coughs> win a drag race. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and uh, earn three stars at speed zones. That I can accept. Earn 50,000 points in drift zone. <laughs> it's not a drift car, you morons. <sighs> but anyway, who am I to decide? What do I know? Anyway, I got tuned for the whole lot, pretty much. Um... Let's see. Uh, I got a road racing tune, S1900. There's the drift tune I created. 126, 529, 661. Um, there's a drag tune. <laughs> uh, 509, 640, 705. Um, but I'm going to use that, this one, for the speed zones. 155, So... That's the weekly Forsython. And let me just scroll up in my notes here. And then, of course, we have some PR stunts. <sighs> and we have <clears throat> speed zones and trailblazers. And again, do not shoot the messenger. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> we have two speed zones. <sighs> and all of the all all three PR stunts are in S two nine nine eight cars, and they have to be Italian. Okay, okay. So we start off Desierto Viviente, which you'll notice is a dirt racing speed zone. Mm -hmm. One hundred and sixteen point nine kilometers an hour, or a hundred miles an hour, give or take. Followed by Cordillera speed zone, 193.1 kilometers an hour. Mm-hmm. Gets worse. And then you have the Trailblazer, which is everyone's favorite. Because, and the reason I say this is because I remember the last time we got this, uh, people were really struggling with it. And I've done testing on it, and I... Yeah, I was getting flashbacks and twitches, and I actually rage quit at one point. 
that stupid. There it is. Grandia's Trailblazer. And, of course, you can't see where it is. There. There you go. Now, it is fucking annoying. Because there's trees and shit in the way. Uh, the entire way. Yeah. You'll hate it. And you have to finish it with 30 seconds to spare. Uh-huh. All right. Well, the card that I have chosen for all three is a reworked, well, amped up uh, uh, version of the S1 tune I've been using the last couple of weeks for the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. And you're going to go, well, it's not S2998. I know, because once you put on dirt tires, be it off-road racing or rally tires, which are useless in this game, uh, the amount of cars that would like to go to S2998 are rather limited and stupid and tend to be way, way more powerful than you actually need, including this one, actually. Uh, but I have tested and tried and prodded and poked and God knows what else, and this will do all three with margin. So there. Uh, and it counts as an S2. And there's the tune for it. 149035259. Mm, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have the Horizon Tour that everybody fucking loves. Or something. And then we have some racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Do you want the bad news or the good news? Or the medium news? Mm. Let's start with the bad ones. Uh, that is an event called Retro Style. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, it is D500 street scene in the 1968 Abath 595-SA-SA. I know. And we start off here at Castillo del Mar, evening clear, and then wetland charge, uh, night clear, and finally, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this, tunnel run, <laughs> dawn clear. And like I said, it's all going to be in this piece of shit. Yeah. And yeah, I put white sidewalls on it. Get over it. Uh, the reason I did that is because of Tunnel Run, basically. Uh, but also, the, the stock tires are appalling, to say the least. They, they just didn't want to work properly. So, hmm. There you go. One seven seven nine eight six eight zero oh, three. But I'm telling you, bring a fucking lunch. Oh, the testing for this. I mean, I and I, yeah, I. I'm sorry to say, I only tested the first race because life's too short to test anything else. So there. Um. Then we have another race called Hyper Italia. And you're probably thinking, aha, here we go, S2, Italian cars. No. <clears throat> it's S1900 road racing in Italian hypercars. Yeah, still no S2 racing. I wonder why. Uh, we start off with three laps of Estadio Circuit, clear afternoon. Then Dunas Blanca Sprint, clear afternoon. And finally... Down here somewhere. Tierra Prospera, three laps. Hot season, of course, sunset clear. Uh, and the car I'm going to be using is probably the cheapest Italian hypercar in existence. This week's pink competition car. There we go. The 2016 Lamborghini Aventador Super Veloce. tune for it is this one 
There you go. 645 uh, That leaves us with the trial, which is one big question mark. Um, because the info I have sort of goes against the entire theme that's been going on the last couple of weeks with these Italian cars. Because it is S1900 road racing modern supercars. And I'm thinking, eh, it has to be Italian modern, modern supercar, right? 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 It would be weird, anything else. So what I did was I found an Italian modern supercar that would be able to race the AI even though they use, uh, have an access to all the modern supercars. And... But still be there if you know, uh, in case we uh, we have to do Italian. But anyway, the tracks are Lost Jardine Circuit, three laps, morning clear. Uh, lookout Circuit, uh, three laps, afternoon clear. And finally, Horizon Mexico Circuit, three laps, clear, sunset. And the car I'm going to be using. Is better get this right. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're right there. That one. The 2014 Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. And there is a chance that it is actual modern supercars. Pick anything you like, but I I still think it sounds wrong. Uh, but anyway, the tune for this one is, there you go, 178-351-147. And, uh, yeah, that's the best I can do. I hope this helps you and gives you a little bit something to do. If not, eh, sorry. And, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have the full info for, for Rallyland and Hot Wheels Land, but, you know, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Anyway... That's it. Uh, please remember to like all the paint jobs and the tracks and tunes. And even with you, if you get around to it, it would be nice if you liked the video as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, thank you very much for watching and stay safe. Bye-bye.